when people ask about my political philosophy, I say I guess I'm an anarchist because for me that means two things. That means I believe it would be possible someday to have a truly free society, but a truly free society would be one which isn't based on bureaucracies of violence, you know, uh, which isn't based on the constant threat of physical force, uh, a society of free association. So for me, Anarchism simply means a commitment to the idea that someday it would be possible to have a truly free society, but also it's an ethical commitment that you don't bring about freedom by working through its opposite. You don't, you know, strengthen the state so as to eventually eliminate the state. You don't, you don't operate through institutions which you think are inherently corrupt and ultimately based on violence, like governments, corporations, and so forth, but try to as much as possible to let your own ways of, of dealing with other people, and especially within social movements, embody the kind of world you want to create. Every aspect of our lives, especially in public, but in general, is actually regulated by endless codes, uh, administrative ordinances, who can stand where, who can sell or smoke or eat or play, um, you know, anything you can do, you might do in public. There's endless laws, and those laws are enforced by violence. You know, so there are people with weapons who are there to you know threaten to hit us if we don't if we don't obey even the tiniest little rules. If mature adults are people who can come together and, and make arrangements based on sort of reasonable uh, appreciation of the other person's needs and points of view, I mean that's usually how psychologists define maturity. Being able to sort of go to a group of people, everybody sort of takes into consideration the other's perspective, and they come to some practical compromise about things. We live in a society where we never get to do that. And one of the things that really fascinated me is the role of police. Mm -hmm. Perhaps this does come from the fact that I'm, I'm thinking about the anarchist tradition, theorize police more than most political groups, but you know, the fact that most of what police do is enforce administrative ordinances. Now, very little of what they have to do on a day-to-day -day basis has anything to do with crime, even though we think of them as fighting crime and especially violent crime. Actually, what they do is they bring the possibility of violence into situations, you know, selling uh, untaxed cigarettes, for example, that you know, it would never normally be any danger of violence had they not shown up. There's an interesting distinction between Marxism and, and, and anarchism, and so far as you can have a Marxist anthropology or a Marxist sociology quite easily, but that's because Marxism is essentially a theoretical discourse about revolutionary strategy, whereas anarchism is more an ethical discourse about revolutionary practice. You know, if you look at the history of Marxism, insofar as there's different varieties of Marxism, there's Leninists and Trotskyists or Althusserians, you know, it just goes from heads of state to French professors, just as fine. Whereas anarchists don't say, I'm a Kropotkinite and you're a Bakuninist. You know, they don't name themselves after some theorists, they talk about the practice, like, you know, I'm an individualist, or you're an anarcho-syndicalist, or so forth and so on.